In this video, I'm going to show you a free flow chart maker, which you can use to create flow diagrams, UML diagrams, UML stands for Unified Modeling Language, and also Business Process Modeling Notation or BPMN diagrams. Normally, the software which create these flow diagrams are very expensive, and you have to pay $400 to $1,000 for a flow diagram maker. But this is a free flow chart maker and it is called YED. And after watching this YED tutorial, you should be able to create flow diagrams. So let's get started after a short intro. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Tahir and I create videos for teachers and students about educational technology tools. If you are interested in this topic, please hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell to get notified whenever I post a new video on this channel, normally every Tuesday and Friday. YED Graph Editor can be downloaded from yworks.com. This is their website and if you scroll down, you can see that this YED is freely available and runs on all major platforms, Windows, Unix, Linux, and Mac operating system. And on the right hand side, you have this download link. Now this is the file which you will get, .exe file. You simply click on that and it will be installed on your computer. Once you click on this icon, the program YED Graph Editor will start and you will see this user interface. But before I start explaining how this software works, let me show you one more thing. If you click on their products and then diagram editors. Now this is the desktop application, YED, but they also have an online version of YED, which is called YED Live. And now let's see how this works. So what I'm going to do is I am going to start from an example and explain the features of this software. So I click on this help and then example graphs. As you can see that you have examples of all types of flow diagrams. So let me briefly introduce to you uh, these important types of flow charts. BPMN are business process modeling notation diagrams. These diagrams show you how a business operates. What are the steps when an important event happens in a business, how various departments and various sections of business operate. So you show all this in a visual representation. Similarly, swim lane diagrams show the organizational structure of the business, various departments of the business. Flow charts are used for various purposes. For example, showing the organizational structure, showing how an algorithm work. And if you are designing a very complex software, then you use UML diagrams, which is a way to represent the architecture design and implementation of the complex software systems. So I will start from a simple flow chart because the purpose is to show you how this software works. And then I click on this example. So let me introduce to you various parts of this user interface. On the right hand side, let me minimize this. There are various sections of this software. For example, the first one is shape nodes. You simply click and drag and it will be placed here. The next section is some modern nodes. As you can see that these shapes have some 3D effects. Then there are various connectors you can use. Then there are some group nodes, then swim lane nodes. Then you also have some avatars. Then for computer networks, you have some diagrams available, which you can use in your flowcharts. Then these are some components of UML diagrams. Then these are flowcharts. Then there are some elements for BPMN diagrams. And there are some others as well. And now we are going back to the first one. This video also has a timestamp in the description. If you are looking for a particular thing for YED software, you can look in the description and there is a timestamp. You click on that and you will only see that part of the video. Let us see how we can insert various components. To insert this box, I click and drag. If I want to enlarge it, I click and then I hover near this. And when I see this double sided arrow, I click and drag. And as you can see that there are some guidelines, these gray lines appear. And with the help of these lines, you can place it in a particular position. And now if I 
click and drag in this box, I will see this arrow. Now I have clicked the left mouse button and the button is pressed and I am moving. And if I want to connect to this box, I can leave it anywhere here. And now if I click on this and then move, as you can see that that line is attached. And when I bring it in this position, you can see the light gray line, which indicates to me that now it is perfectly in line with the left box. So I can release now and it will be aligned. On the left hand side, this is an overview or navigational window. There is a rectangle here. If I click and drag, I can see any particular part of this flow chart. Because if your flow chart is very large, you can move in this way. And for example, I leave it here and then I want to bring everything inside. There is this one box here, which says show entire graph. I click on that and it will again show all the graph. So these are some basic commands which you need to understand if you want to work on this software and if you want to create flowcharts using YAD. And now let's say I want to change the properties of this. It is currently selected. I can change the fill color on the right hand side. This is the properties view area. And if I click on this, I will see all the colors. So if I want, I can change it to red color. Similarly, if I want to uh, change the boundary of this box to dotted, for example, this is the line type I select here. And while the box is selected, I can select any line. And as you can see, the border of this box is now dotted. So let me change color back to a light color. So you can see now. So these are the properties you can change here. You can also change this arrow type you select here, click on that. And now you will get all kinds of arrows, whatever you want, you can change the shape of arrow. Now, if your flow chart is very large, this area, this will show you a simplified version of your components. For example, I click on that. This window shows me how this component, the selected component is connected. So let me make this enlarge so you can read this. There are four components, neighborhood, folder content, predecessors and successors. So predecessors means from where it is connected on above side or on top side and successes are the components which are connected to this selected box on the lower side or the bottom side. So you can see if your graph is very large, you can double check that you are not making any error and the components are properly connected. Then there is a structure view here. As you can see, these are the text on these boxes. And if I click on this box and then I right click, I can edit the label. So if I click on that, I can change this text to anything. So I can change it, I just start typing. So this is how you can change the text. And similarly, if you right click, you can delete this box if you want. And if you click on this properties, now this is the text which I have just typed. This is the color of the box. I can change the width and height to a precise value as well. So let me cancel this. Then we have zoom. So if I click on zoom, it will zoom in. So let me move this to a little bit on the left hand side. And now let's talk about uh, an important feature, which is this uh, orthogonal edges. So orthogonal edges can be enabled by clicking on this. Now this is disabled and this is enabled. And now if I start an edge from this box, let's say, so I click and drag and now this will be orthogonal. Whether I go right or left, this edge will stay at 90 degree. And now if for example, I go downwards and then right, then click here, then go downwards, click here. So it will be orthogonal at all times. So this is very important when you want to route the edges based on your own requirement. Very useful and you will need this tool very often. Now these orthogonal edges can also be enabled from this view. So view and then orthogonal edges or there is a key F10 on your keyboard. You can start orthogonal edges. Now I think I have covered most of the things and the last and important thing is how to export this. So you can click on this file and save as for example and this will be the extension of the file graph HML. So you can save it and you can open it. I'm not going to save this. The second important thing is if you want to export your flowchart 
you can export in various formats. So you click on file export and in this files area, as you can see that there are many file formats. The most important one are EPS, PNG or JPG and PDF. EPS is a vector format, SVG is also a vector format, very sharp. You can zoom up to any level and there will be no distortion. If you are doing a scientific publication, I would suggest EPS format. For casual use, you can use PNG or JPG and you can also export in PDF. So let us export in this PDF and I can name this as test in yad folder so i save this and now it will ask me pdf export because i am trying to save this as a pdf so i click ok and now inside my folder i have this file i double click on this and this is my graph let us zoom it to 100 percent and now as you can see that this flow chart is of professional quality so yad is a very easy to use flow chart maker which is absolutely free and you can check on their website. I think that it is free for commercial use as well. I remember that I have watched one of their videos and they mentioned this thing, but I'm not 100% sure. You can check this and if it is free for commercial use or you can send them an email, then it is a fantastic software for creating flowcharts, for creating UML diagrams or other business presentations. So I hope that you like this video. If so, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and see you next time.